So this is my next project. I cut a couple of these pecan pieces here are cut for legs. So what I'm gonna do is actually build a couple of projects because we have a new woodworking group at our church called the Sawdust Brothers. And I'm gonna make a few pieces because in October, we're gonna have a woodworking show and sell. So this piece is gonna be for the show. So I've got a piece of walnut that's got a bunch of cracks in it. So I'm gonna cut out some usable portions of it, make a top, and a couple leg supports. Then we're gonna make some uh, legs out of this wonderful pecan. So let's get to cut. So here I am cutting out the legs for the table. But let me tell you where my inspiration came from. So Chris Salamone, oh, a year ago, built a little coffee table. And this is my inspiration for the table that I'm building. So just like Chris, I decided I'd draw up my table in SketchUp. But this is really the poor man's SketchUp. So here it is. Here's my SketchUp drawing. Let me tell you what it's all about. So now I've been working on my sign language. So let's see if we can interpret what here. Okay. Oh, we got a crack. No good. All right. What do we have over here on this side? Oh, another crack. What's that? No, that's no good either. We're going to cut it out. Got it. So I have the two pieces of walnut glued together. I did a light sand and 80 grit, so I have a knot on this side. This is going to be the top side, so I'm going to do a little repair on here and drop some black CA glue in here, see if I can't fill up this gap. So I've marked my pieces inside and outside. That way, these would be the show pieces, and I want to be able to have and plane to the same thicknesses. So now we're gonna put them on the thickness planer, make sure we have all the right thicknesses. It helps things go faster if you do everything in fast motion like this. Okay, to prepare for my 45 degree angles, I put this square edge up to the teeth of my saw, and then I drop this piece of tape down here knowing that that's the exact edge that I'm going to cut. So now, let's put on our miter cuts. So now we got our 45 degree. We have our line drawn on the back of this, and we can look over the top of this to see exactly where that's going to be, and we can cut away. So I got real good at cutting these 45 degree angles. After all, each leg segment's two cuts, and you got four corners, that's eight, and you got three, that's 24 cuts. You'll get pretty good at something you do it that, that often. Okay, so I'm gonna do a blue up. And basically, we're gonna do it with a strap wrapping around it. So we got enough of a parchment paper underneath. If you've never done a glue up with a parchment paper, glue and your project will not stick to it. You can see it peels right off. Makes it very easy. So less. So after I had all the legs cut, I put them together. Then I had to decide how wide they should be apart from each other. How wide or fat or thin of a stretcher I should have. What it should look like. So... I did them all and put them together different widths to find out. I even used black and white to be able to get a true look to see if they were too wide apart, if they're too narrow. Anyway, we did all that, and I don't know if it made any difference. Anyway, we decided, and on we went. So I'm preparing to cut the slot, the half lap, for my brace that's going to go on the back and on the front. And so I have the area down here taped where this is going to go on this side, half lap in, and this will go half lap in here. So these are the three legs. And I have it set up to where my depth of the cut is shallower than this, so this may protrude a little, 
That's okay, I can plane that. This is walnut. This is pecan up here. So I have these three gained together, pushed up against the fence so the cut will be at the right spot for all three pieces. And then once I do this side, I'll flip it over and cut this side. So with that, let's see if we can do this. So here we are on our table and we're cutting pieces of the spalted pecan to do a trim work all the way around our edge here to add a little more weight to this top because the top like that looks a little light so this will add some weight in here visually to where to balance with the legs so we're going to cut these at about one inch and this will be about one and seven eighths the same width as that but let me show you what i'm cutting these from these were the off cuts that we did but this piece and every side is crooked as all get out so I've got to take it to the table saw to shave it, to be able to get it flat, put it on my straight cut jig. Anyway, let's do that now. Okay, I got a reasonably good cut, but the board slipped into something, so it ends up being a little bit of a taper. So now I'm gonna to have to hand plane this to get this flat. That shouldn't be okay as long as I can get this surface flat enough, then I can come in and cut the other side parallel. of the piece I drew a line straight down here that's going to be the inside of the 40 degree 45 degree cut going out that way so I put this the cut needs to be right on the line but I'm going to allow a little bit so I'm going to move it just inside of that to allow me an extra room to make sure I can sneak up on this and get that cut precise you can see that's going to be just past the edge of the teeth Now I want to trim these edge pieces over here to where they're flush with this. So I'm going to attempt to do this on the table saw in this way and have this be almost up to the edge of that and just cut that off. So on the other side, since we have this piece that sticks out here, we're putting a spacer piece in here that our piece is going to run up against to maintain the proper distance. Walnut top, trim of pecan, 
legs faulted pecan, walnut stretchers. So it's important today to be inspired. So as I was inspired by Chris Salamone in one of his tables he made, I made it my own. So take a project today, make it your own, be inspired. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. And as usual, come back and see me real soon.